I did forget to mention last time, if you're enjoying the uh, content, don't forget to uh, smash the subscribe button. Uh, I do appreciate it. So we're still on Terrace here. Just kind of exploring around and learning what we can. Ever since the Sith quarantine, Javier's Cantina is packed with off worlders. It never used to be that busy. You got a mouth on you. Can't you see I'm busy with my duties? Go talk to Zelka if you need something. You say so, Gurney. I see from your appearance that you are an off world. <coughs> Still, you're welcome here. I'll not have it said that Selka Foreign refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Terrace. Do you require healing or medical supplies? I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Except the rat ghoul disease, of course. The terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many generations. It is spread by the rat ghouls, horrible monsters that live in the undercity below Terrace's great skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected will eventually mutate into rat ghouls themselves, becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. Mm, there is no antidote for the disease, though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. <coughs> then the Sith arrived. They ran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the Rat Ghoul disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. But I don't see how that's going to happen. I couldn't afford to give you more than a few med packs and a handful of credits. The medical center can barely afford to stay open as it is. But it hardly matters anyway. I don't see how anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. I suppose the Sith patrols in the Undercity might have a sample of the serum on them, if they hadn't already used it because of a rat ghoul infection. But I doubt a patrol would just hand the serum over, and nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith patrols, even in the Undercity. I am quite busy maintaining the facility, but I suppose I could spare a bit of time to answer some questions. What would you like to know? The terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many generations. It is spread by the Rat Ghouls, horrible monsters that live in the Undercity below Terrace's great skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the uh, I am quite busy, mate. <laughs> I know enough to be scared of them. I've heard about the brutality of the Sith. I know what they do to the planets they conquer. So far, all they've done is ask me some general questions, but... I'm afraid they might one day decide to shut this facility down simply out of evil spite. I guess there's not much I can do about the Sith. Except hope that the Republic finds a way to stop their conquest of the entire galaxy. Of course. Just step over here and I'll show you what I have in stock. My prices are very reasonable. Just what I need to keep this facility operating. Dry mouth. Hmm. Never hurts to have an extra med pack. How many do I got? I got twelve. Uh, I'll hold off. Go in there. Oh, that door is for employees only. Yeah. 
y you recognize these soldiers? But how? <coughs> unless, unless you're a friend of the Republic. I, uh, I guess I'd better tell you what's going on. I only hope the Sith don't find out what I've done. Since the space battle overhead, people have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash-landed on the planet. I had to take them in. What choice did I have? Their injuries are terrible. Most won't survive. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. And at least here, they're hidden away from the Sith. Well, for that, you have my thanks. It's good to know that at least some of these men ended up in compassionate hands. I hate to imagine what the Sith would do if they discovered these soldiers here. But since their initial questioning, the Sith have not returned, so it may be my fears are unfounded. No, it's not. The Sith would torture men like these or worse. And you're not threatening this man while I'm present. Then get lost, asshole. Fine. Take these credits to seal your tongue, then leave this place. I don't want to have anything to do with a monster like you. Well, I understand some extra credits might help us in our mission, but I don't approve of your methods. Zelka's a good man. You shouldn't have done that. You've got your credits. Now please show yourself out. You're no longer welcome here. What? What do you want? Are you here to threaten me again? Well, it won't do you any good. I don't have anything left for you to steal. Can't you just leave me alone? Well, I did set this facility up. Ah. Psst, you there. Wait a minute. I need to talk to you about the Rakul serum. I've got an offer for you you might want to hear. Zelka isn't the only one who wants to get his hands on the Rakul serum. Davik Kang will pay you ten times what Zelka can, if you can get the cure. Oh, come on. Everybody knows who Davik Kang is. He's the big boss around here. Gambling, smuggling, extortion. He's got a piece of all the action on Taris. I prefer to think of him as a role model. He started with nothing, and now he's got it all. Credits, power, women... It's the Teresian dream, right? Davik's interested in anything that can turn a profit. He could make a fortune selling the serum to anyone infected with the disease. Not like Zelka, who'll practically give it away. Davik isn't the kind of guy you can just walk up to, you know. He likes to keep his business at arm's length. The best thing to do is to take the Rakul serum to Zax. He runs the Lower City Bounty Office, but everyone knows he also works for Davik. He'll make it worth your while. Hm, I'll just deny it. Who's Zelka gonna believe? Me or some off-world stranger? Now be smart about this. You'll get a better deal selling to Davik. And then only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer, right? If you find the Rakul serum, just take it to Zax in the Lower City Bounty Office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth. Mm. Noted. Figure. I'm better for it to happen now than in the middle of combat, right?
Alright. Oh, just for the shit of it. One more run at it. <coughs> oh, and it's still gonna walk me through that stupid tutorial crap. Come on. Of course, he has a fucking natural. Stay low. Interesting. That's not what I can do. I gotta hit it again. Yeah, I know. Oh, look at that. <coughs> Got lucky. Almost tempts me to play him. I saw you're getting a Pazak lesson from that old fossil Garuk. Learning the rules of Pazak is easy, but actually playing the game is a much greater challenge. Normally, I wouldn't bother with a novice like you. But since Gerud was banned for hustling cards, I haven't been able to find a good game around here. Do you wish to play a hand? I'm going to Let's enjoy relieving you of your credits almost as much as I'm going to enjoy humiliating you. <laughs> Oh, I don't know what to expect out of this guy, so we'll just put up the uh, spare change. I got 18 credits. Give me a natural. Of course not. I'll take it. Wasting a card on this. Yeah, because I saw that coming. Stay low. Stay low. I'll take it. Stay low. 
stay low, my friend. So he's got 18. I'll take 19 for the win. You were lucky to win the last match, but luck is no substitute for skill in Pazak. If you are foolish enough to play me again, I won't repeat the mistake of underestimating you. I'm going to enjoy All relieving right. you of your credits almost <laughs> as much as I'm going to enjoy humiliating you. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm being hustled right now, so... Let's just, uh... Oh, 26 this time. Oof. Of course he does. And he's just gonna keep drawing low like that, dude. Watch him pull a natural now. Huh? That works. Stay low. Stay low. Ish. Oh my, he pulls a fucking natural. Of course he does. Of course he had a negative five. Oh man, this is where I get fucked. I really can't settle with 17. I knew it. I fucking knew Kazakh it. is not for everyone. Confidence is inspiring. Right, one more game. I'm just bad on loose change, right? Yikes. That's effing disgusting. Let him try to make a hand. <clears throat> Bust. Yeah. That's one way to do it. Give me a natural. Of course not. A fucking bust, me too. What a joke. seen a nine in a while and he's gonna be low all day <laughs> a fucking ten yeah, go for Pazak it. is not for everyone it requires both nerve and skill perhaps you should practice oh I should just get some better cards questions <laughs> I don't come here to answer questions if you want to play Pazak then let's play if not then quick crowding my gambling table If you ever wish to test... Mm. 
I saw your match against Nikla. <coughs> if you could even call it that. You aren't much of a Kazakh player, are you? Wow. Okay. Hi there. I haven't seen you around before. Of course, they don't give us Sith officers from the military base much time off. I'm off duty right now, so I'm not in uniform. My name is Sana, junior officer, first class with the Sith Occupation Force. I'm actually a little surprised you're talking to me at all. Most of the people here on Taris can't stand us Sith. They can make this job pretty lonely. That's true, but people don't appreciate what we've done for them. We could have slapped a curfew on this whole planet, but we didn't. You know, it's like everyone on this backwater planet is in a permanent bad mood. Don't they know we have to make the best of things? Exactly, it's all about attitude. I didn't ask to be assigned to this backwater planet, but I try to make the best of it. It's pretty easy to get depressed on an assignment like this, but we do what we can to keep our spirits up. That's true. It's nice to meet someone who understands what I'm going through. It's good to talk about this stuff. It gets pretty lonely up at the military base. I have to get going soon. I've got a shift at the military base, but some of us junior Sith officers are having a party tonight to blow off some steam. I'd really like to see you again. Why don't you drop by the party? I'll show you where it is on your map. Don't be late. We're starting right after our ships end. Most of us won't even be going back to the base to lock up our uniforms. I look forward to seeing you there. That could be useful. What? Why are you speaking to me? Can't you tell from my clothing that I'm of the nobility? Get away from me. I can't be seen talking with a common rabble. It wouldn't be proper for a man of my standing. What a douche. I wish the off-duty Sith would stop coming in here for drinks. I'm scouring the undercity looking for the Republic escape pods and they reek of the sewers. Okay. I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match! Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Gurlon fighting. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start, so quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Gurlon Two Fingers. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever persistent Dead Eye Duncan. <laughs> and to nobody's great to surprise, go, Dead Eye is down again. Don't worry, folks, he's just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So I give you the winner, Girl on Two Fingers. It's good to see Marl still around after all these years. He proves this isn't just a young man's game. I love watching Ice fight. She proves this isn't just a man's game. Okay. Pretty sad fight there, Duncan. Fresh meat. You want a piece of me? You want to step in the dueling chambers with me? Big talk. Go speak with the hut in the corner to back it up. He's the duel organizer. I'll look forward to our match. Fresh meat is just what I need to end my losing streak. Hmm. 
I haven't seen you around here before. You looking to step into the duel ring? Or did you just come to watch? What? Why are you here if you don't even know what the dueling ring is? I don't have time to answer your questions. I need to stay focused for my next match. Maybe Azure can help you out. He's the hut over there in the corner. He arranges all the duels. Hello there, Offworld. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Marl. I'm one of the duelists here at the Cantina. I was wondering when you'd get around to talking to me. No, we've never met. It's just that most people who come here to watch the duels are bored nobles, looking for a little excitement in their drab lives. But you're different. You look like you know a thing or two about combat. I'm guessing you didn't come here to sit on the sidelines and watch a duel. Are you looking for a match? My area of expertise is pretty much limited to the dueling ring and the other combatants here at the cantina. But I'll try to answer any questions <coughs> you might have. Only what I heard from the news reports, which are all censored by the Sith. Some pods crashed into the Undercity. Anyone caught harboring survivors will be arrested and executed. Really, I, I don't think it's any of my business. The Sith want to call themselves rulers of Taurus? It's fine by me, just so long as they don't shut the duel ring down. I can only tell you what is recorded in the basic visitor guides. The Upper City is a beautiful destination where intergalactic travelers can find all their basic needs. If you're looking for excitement, the duel rings here are your best bet. Stay out of the Lower City. It's nothing but a gang-ridden slum. Is there anything else you want to know? Goodbye, stranger. Maybe we'll talk again later. I know what you're going to say. I'm so beautiful, I'm so attractive. How can someone who looks so hot with a weapon in her hand be called ice? Well, I've heard it all before. I'm here to take care of business in the dueling ring, not to have some slack-jawed, goggled-eyed man slobber all over me. So back off. You know what? I'm not one for friendly chit-chat, so I'm just going to deliver the cold, hard facts. I don't want to waste any more time with you. Well, now you know why they call me Ice. If you're looking for a match, go talk to Azure. He's that big hut over there in the corner. Otherwise, just go away. Fibroblades and blasters, and nobody ever dies. How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? Gioca con molera, quien con jo pesha, no va molera ji. Jere yon tora un chi, ay tadia. Mula una chi mek, va molera slimo ang nakubisting. Eh, cha chis katon puta. Kasabubaka, <laughs> 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 
just got this canal. Motora ya fulke, koko la jiji, wacha nechu, tomba tora smatelea, hehe, ashuta, wonga kumbis dolpe kiko yana. Kava dumpa kulpe yeya moka bata, chiska nechu. Enkin kono bamulere, achi kum tog na wong shanon yang. Tawa wul bamulje kumana kipuna. Mona na kacho, kin bamulere atwana. Tawu bamotenya ko chocho piti. Tawa dum pakul payia mokata. Wanga kumbis kin bamulere. A king chana gog bakon. Tava dumpa kupa yia botenya. This is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith might have come across a crew manifest back on the Endor Spire. Ako chikopa. Chino mulera king paja. Snimo puiduana. Ako chikopa. Chino mulera king pajak, snima puituana. Tawa na roka, ayot tago, ha ha. Tanke dova na yeme chus, kochis kanayo, ha ha ha. Potora ya fulke, kokola jiji. Wacha nechu, uchang yon torong chiwefa. Ola onna chinneka, ba mule rakun bisking. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation <laughs> in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time, He's after fresh meat. In this corner, I give you Deadeye Duncan. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Terrace dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name, the mysterious stranger. It's over! The fight is over! The mysterious stranger has won! But really, are any of us surprised? Deadeye losing isn't news. You have to do better than that to impress us, stranger. Just fucking pain. Ayo, no peace. 
tu lagi yokaku aku cikopa Cino melerakin pajak selima pui belanak Cio kakon melera Kien konjua pesak Noga meleraji Cerion torang ci Aita dia Mulau na cinek Ba melera selima orang aku bisking Ladies and gentlemen Draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. In this corner, one of the greats, a man so tough, even a disfiguring injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> I give you girl on two fingers. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the terrace dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name. The Mysterious Stranger! Ooh, I need it's to over! The fight yes. is over! The mysterious stranger has won! Gerlon losing to a rookie! Is this a sign that his injuries have finally caught up with him? Or is the mysterious stranger for real? Only time will tell! Made a quick three hundred credits here, but definitely need to heal up. And I'm not wasting the med pack, so Let's head back to the apartment. Need a good run today in the city. It does work pretty slow. Did I acquire anything for the upgrades? No. Karth's Blaster can be upgraded, huh? Interesting. I need a smoke, so I'm gonna take a quick break here for a moment. Oh. If you're already a uh, subscriber or a follower, thank you very much. If not, uh, 
please feel free to smash that uh, follow or subscribe button. It's very much uh, appreciated. So we added a stream marker here for a smoke break. I'm gonna quick load one up and step outside for a moment. Then we're gonna come back in, and I don't know. I mean, I, I want to tackle that uh, that dueling ring some more. But as a scoundrel, I know my combat is not where it needs to be, and that last fight almost dropped me. So we'll, we'll see what my decision is from here. I save? It was a good time to save, too. It's always a good time to save. And again, we're gonna take a quick smoke. And I mean, any fans of the Coder series, um, you know, feel free to throw out any suggestions or any ideas. Um, as I've mentioned in the previous stream, this is actually going to be my first complete playthrough of this. Um, this game has eluded me for uh, well, the last, what, 17, 18 years now. Um, you know, being a Star Wars fan and an RPG fan... Um, cards just weren't in the right place at the right time. I didn't own an Xbox. Uh, I didn't really own a PC that could have handled this back in that day. Uh, I did, however, have a PS2. So that's kind of where that left me at that period of time. But I've even heard people say that even today this game still somewhat stands up. And you know what? Graphically, it seems kind of rough. But so far, I'm having fun. I mean, the gameplay so far absolutely stands the test of time. I mean, I mean we're only in, uh, just a little bit here, so we'll see as it continues.
can charge the headset quick while I go take the smoke break. I got all kinds of things eating and pooping at me right now, so.
Should have left his ass behind when I went through do all that stuff that he didn't like me doing. I have to keep that in mind next time. Who said I signed up to fight for the Republic in the first place? I woke up with fucking amnesia, man. Alright. Oh, back to the container, right? Time to get in another fight. fight was hand to hand watching all those those missed hits right out the gate I think I'm gonna pull my blaster rifle back now. make sure I save before I do this uh, the old rule in any RPG save often right <laughs> Boy, he's really selling that hard. I'm gonna fucking mix it up, dude. I need credits. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. Over in this corner, a woman with steel on her bones and ice water in her veins. She's cold and quick as death itself. You know her. You love her. Ice. And in the other corner, a rising star taking that first step into the big leagues. Mm -hmm. I give you the mysterious stranger. And now we're going with it. Dodge that one. Ah. 
12 to fucking 7? Like five blood it's packs. Over. It's like 200 credits just to fight her. The mysterious stranger has won. I come out ahead Ice 100 credits. Knocked out cold. Looks like we have a rising star in the mysterious stranger, folks. But how high can this star soar? You'll just have to watch and see. Oh, I might have to come back to this a bit later. Level up a little more. Yeah, I made a hundred credits after I replaced my med kits. Kind of garbage. She got to say now, bitch. I've never been one to shy away from the cold, hard truth, so I'll just come right out and say it. I can't compete with the likes of you, stranger. I know when I'm overmatched. You're good. Very good. But you're wrong if you think that means I'm suddenly going to warm up to you. Truth is, I really don't have anything more to say. So you might as well move on. You beat me fair and square, stranger. But if I still had the use of my fingers, you wouldn't have won. Back before my injury, I would have mopped the ring up with you. You beat Ice. I've been trying to beat her for years, and you do it just like that. I can't believe how lucky you are. That's right. I said lucky. Lucky to be born with the kind of talent I spent a lifetime trying to build. It isn't fair, I tell you. Pretty impressive, stranger. Ice is no pushover. People are starting to take notice of you. They say you're the best thing to come along since Twitch stepped into the ring. If you're going to keep climbing the ranks, then I guess I'm next on your hit list, kid. I'm looking forward to it. Goodbye, stranger. Maybe we'll talk again later. Hey, you're one of the duelists. The one they call the mysterious stranger. Sure, I know you. Hey, stranger. I like watching you in the ring. It's enough to get a girl all flushed. Gerlon used to be one of the best in the game. Now he's barely better than old Deadeye Duncan. I wish the off-duty Sith would stop coming in here for drinks. I mean, scouring the inner city looking for the Republic escape pipe. Who dresses you? you? Look like you crawled up here from the lower city. Oh well, I guess we can't all have style. You like Pazak? I used to watch it all the time when Gelrud was playing here. He had some great matches against Nikos until they banned him for cheating. Yeah, he took nice all the bid cards out of his deck too. In the under city who dressed better than you. Yeah, that lower city is nothing but a slum. If the Sith want to win us Terizians over, they should clean the gangs out of there. You aren't from Terrace, are you? Do yourself a favor and stay away from the tree jail. It packs more kick than most off-worlders can handle. Nice outfit. I've oh, there's too many people in this cantina since they added a music room in the back. I come here to relax, not to fight with crowds. What? Why are you speaking to me? Can't you tell from my clothing that I'm of the nobility? Get away from me. No hard feelings, my good man. But I can't really talk with you right now. It's difficult enough to draw the interest of the ladies in this establishment as it is. Surely you understand what I'm talking about. I'd guess you've experienced many lonely evenings. Something I'm hoping to avoid tonight. That quarantine must be tough when you off world are stuck here. You should try and make the best of it and order yourself some Teresian ale. It'll take away some of the sting. I wish the off-duty Sith would stop coming in here for drinks. <laughs> nice outfit. You steal those clothes from a bum in the lower city? Isn't this band great? They can't leave Terrace because of the Sith quarantine, so they've been playing here every night. Talk about Mucho shakapanka. Yi ki kun no ba mula draki chichon. 
मुझे शक पागा ये कि मुझे शक पागा What's this? Who brought the shot, man? I'm sorry, I'm totally <coughs> wrong. I've got to get these drink orders to the customers. Where did you get those clothes? A trash compactor in the lower city? And where are those drinks we ordered? Careful what you say. I get the feeling this spoiled brat could cause us more trouble than she's worth. Why is the help here so incompetent? One word from Daddy and I could get you fired. Mm. Damn it. I'm gonna throw a persuade challenge with her. That's better. Now, hurry up with our order. And here are your drinks, Miss Lavin. I apologize for the delay. Don't bother me. I don't speak to the help. Are you our waiter? Ghana's This Theresian ale is fantastic. We should have conquered this planet ages ago. Let me enjoy my drink in peace. And I won't have to run you for questioning. I wish the off-duty Sith would stop coming in here for drinks. It's a good thing a few of the Sith come in here to relax when they're off-duty. I should keep them from closing this cantina down. Should I play him in one more game for good measure? But I can't. Bazak is not for everyone. Oh, shut up. Confidence is in. Oh, stay low. Give me a 10. Stay low. <sighs> Give me a ten. Good deal. Oof. Force the issue. Naturally. <sighs> and then I boss. Stay low, will you stay low? Oh, that works too. Bust. Stay low, stay low. Ouch. Stay low. Fuck. There's nothing I can do when I go over. There you go. Stay low. Stay low. Don't give him a 10. Give it to me. Fuck. Kidding me? Stay low. Stay low, low. Oh fuck my life! <laughs> I need that going first is what gets me. Bazak is not for everyone. It confidence is. I'm gonna take. I gotta quit pissing money down this prick. Stay low. 
But of course not. I'll take it. Instantly make a 20, so we're drawn. Stay low, baby, stay low. Give me a 10, give me a 10. That works too. Come on, baby, stay low, stay low, or give me a 10. It fucking busts me. Quit fucking me, will you? Give me a 10. Of course not. It's hitting him low all day. There. And he hits it fucking naturally. Oh, fuck. Give me an 8. Take it. Lucky to win the last match, but luck is no substitute for skill in Pazak. If you are foolish enough to play me again, I won't repeat the mistake of underestimating you. No, I'm gonna take the money I lost from you back and just leave. If you ever wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taris, <laughs> you know where to find me. You are lucky to win the. No, no. If you ever wish to. I saw your match against Nikos. He doesn't lose very often. I bet you could make a lot of credits as a professional Pazak player. You know, you're my kind of guy. Rich and handsome. Just the way I like them. Why don't we slip away to the tap room together? The bartender can mix us up something special for only 20 credits. If you play your cards right, Pazak might not be the only game you get lucky at tonight. Well, I'm used to the finer things in life. I'm not about to lower my standards for any man. So how about it? You want me to get those drinks for us? What's the matter, you shy? Suit yourself. I'll be here if you change your mind. Just waiting for a nice, rich Pazak player to come along. Leave me alone. I'm not giving out any auto prints to my fans today. What? You don't recognize me? I'm Bendix Starkiller, the most famous blaster slinger on Taurus. Over 100 duels without a loss. Every one of them a death match. I'm retired now. Once death matches became illegal, I just got bored with the game. I got no interest in using stun blasters. There was nobody left to challenge me anyway. I've seen you in the dueling ring, but you haven't impressed me. Now, if you could beat all these other pretenders, that might get my attention. Since I'm not going to answer them, you'd just be wasting your breath. So, move along before people see us talking and think I'm signing auto prints today. I don't want to be mobbed. Off with you then. I'm done with this conversation anyway. Okay then. Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kebla Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. 
Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons, and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. You took your swoop bike? Shit. Uh, just so you know, the prices on the items are our final. No bargaining here. This isn't a swap meet, okay? I only deal in top-notch stuff. <sighs> yeah, I gotta replace five med packs. Ouch. Got seven computer spikes. One security spike. Expensive. Hello. That's expensive. Just three. Never hurts to have a couple. That's what we're looking at here, lady. Welcome to the... Anything I can do to help a potential customer out. What do you want to know? I heard a couple of pods crash down in the Undercity. I bet the crash sites have already been stripped clean by the Sith, though. Unless the Swoop Gangs or Davix men got there first. I don't have anything good to say about those Swoop Gangs. Zooming around on their Swoop bikes, terrorizing the lower city like a bunch of animals. Things weren't so bad when the Hidden Vex were running the show. But ever since the rise of the Black Volker Gang, <laughs> the lower city has been nothing short of a war zone. The Sith haven't even bothered trying to maintain order down there. And I heard a rumor that Davik's own people are having problems with the Black Volkers now. 
Oh, Davik's a legitimate businessman, if you get my drift. Smuggling, slaving, extortion. Mm -hmm. They say he's a member of the Exchange, you know, the big intergalactic criminal organization. Hmm. Well, I've heard of the Exchange. Bad organization to cross. But if anyone has blockade breaking ships, however, it's them. I have to pay them a protection mm -hmm. fee every month, but it's reasonable. And I get most of my inventory through Davik and his suppliers. So I'm just smart enough not to ask where it came from, you understand? Davik hates the Sith as much as anybody. The quarantine has put a real dent in his operations, too. But he's keeping a low profile as long as the occupation lasts. <laughs> Davik stays out of the way, and the Sith don't bother him. The swoop gangs could learn a thing or two from this tidy little arrangement, instead of always going after each other. Uh, it's not smart to say bad things about the people in power, if you get my meaning. I just wish the Sith would ease up on the quarantine, though. They're killing my business. I can't say I like having them here in Upper City, but it could be worse, and we're still a lot better off than the Lower City, what with those swoop gangs and all. Oh, you're one of those off-worlders, aren't you? Come to Terrace for a short business trip and end up stuck here because of the Sith quarantine, right? Oh, mm -hmm. you can't be too happy. Trip. Trapped on an unfamiliar world <clears throat> and all. But Terrace isn't so bad, as long as you stay in the upper city. Just try to avoid the Sith. And stay out of the lower city. The swoop gangs are totally out of control. Even Davik's men are having trouble down there. Good day to you, then. Uh, remember to come back to my shop if you ever need any supplies. Well, fine. Fuck him, too. Busy asteroid. Now what? Yes, what's on your mind? I guess I did say you could ask me questions later, didn't I? Is this really necessary? I don't know. I don't have a problem with it, really. Go ahead and interrogate me. All my secrets are purely of the mundane variety, unfortunately. Nothing worth extracting, though you're welcome to try. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened, from your perspective. Neither was I, to tell the truth. I was on board as an advisor for the most part. The battle began so fast it's anyone's guess as to what actually happened. We lost the ship and a lot of good people. In the hope that the Jedi powers would save us somehow. Not that Bastila had much of an opportunity to act. We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? A smuggler? I should have guessed. Isn't it odd, however, that a smuggler who was added to the crew at the last minute just happens to be alive? You were the only one. Not to mention that Bastila's party was the one who requested your transfer. The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. I mean, hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing, I know. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, however, and I hate surprises. I am working with you. I'd be a fool not to. I'd also be a fool not to expect the unexpected. Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone. 
and I have my reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? All right, all right. You're pretty damn tenacious. You know that? We'll talk about it, but later. Right now, I just want to get going. Dude's starting to really piss me off. So I'm going to get more aggressive with him. I heard the gangs have overrun the lower... Greetings and good day. On behalf of the new Sith, I am a protocol droid. No more protocol droid. No, no, no. Then if you will excuse me, I must continue my... Oh, hello again. Oh, you didn't come to make a complaint about the mess in the building. I keep asking for an assistant, but they expect me to do it all on my own. Hey, I do the best I can with the equipment I got. You're just like all the rest, complaining about me all the time. You, you'll change your tune the first time your plumbing breaks down and raw sewage floods your apartment. Then you'll be begging for Kadir to come help you out. There's no need to antagonize the man. Besides, do you want to live in filth? I sure don't. Well, we'll see who has the last laugh then. Now, if you ain't gonna be civil, then I got work to do. This place doesn't clean itself, you know. Mm. Seven credits chilling here on the floor. This guy said something about energy shields too. Ah, pakupa che kupa, jino mulera kipai jag. Achuta. That's it, 154, really? Five uses. I don't know what that means. Okay, so five uses, 200 seconds of damage taken. Mm. Yeah, for 154 credits. I'll take it. Hmm. Yeah, we're not so bad after all. Good one. I thought you were saying the empty. That's right. You will do fucking nothing. Oh, yeah. 
Let's try and find a couple things just lying around. Let's have Shannon and Dickhead. They're fully healed. And, uh. I don't know. Almost tempted to leave your ass behind, but. You know what, when I go to that party, I'm gonna leave your ass behind. You fucking douche has been getting in my way the whole time. Anyhow, that's when we come back. We have to deal with Carter's dumb shit. I tackle that dueling ring once I've leveled up some more. Uh, obviously, gonna go to this party. Search for past continues. Uh, Rack pool serum. That fits in there, I don't know. Uh, that's right, I got a bounty to collect. Cossack Tech is a quest item. I suppose, makes sense. Just barely slide to the dark side, nothing huge yet. Interesting. No. Go ahead and save here, come back next time and tackle all the rest of the stuff here on Terrace and see where we're headed next. Until then, if you're not already a follower here on Twitch or a subscriber on YouTube, don't forget to follow or subscribe.